Uh, well, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss to derive the property function for a Cobb Douglas production function. But the Cobb Douglas production uh, function such that uh, there is only one factor input that is x. So the the production function is given by this, and this is equal to x to the power a, where a is greater than zero. So it is a positive value. As we know that property is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So total revenue is equal to price time output output is equal to f of x right minus w time x price time output output is a production function which is equal to x to the power a minus w x so to optimize or to maximize profit we need to apply first error condition and second error condition so first of all we would apply first error condition the first error condition is we take the first error derivative of the profit function and put it equal to zero so if we take the derivative of this function with respect to x, we get applying power rule a, a x to the power a minus 1 and this x will be vanish with the derivative and we put it equal to 0. So if we shift to the right hand side, uh, so this this is what this is the so called the you know, first order condition a x to the power a minus 1 represents the marginal physical product of the um, x and p is the price so if we multiply the marginal physical product with the price we get the marginal revenue so the marginal revenue must be equal to the marginal cost which is w all right we then apply the second order condition in the second order condition we take the second order derivative of the profit function and the second order derivative is the first order derivative of the uh, first first order condition so if we take the derivative of this function again with respect to x we will take it will be the second order condition for proper maximization so again applying the power rule power will be multiplied with the coefficient and the power will be reduced by one so it will become p a into a minus one x to the power a minus two and this is for the local maximization it must be non-positive it, it must be non-positive and for strict optimization or uh, regular optimization it must be negative and this condition holds only if a is at most equal to 1 it means that a is less than 1 or it is equal to 1 so what is important to note that when a is less than 1 it means that the technology exhibits diminishing returns to scale but if it is equal to 1 then this technology exhibits constant return to scale what is important to note that we cannot maximize profit if the technology exhibits a constant return to scale so what we will do is a will converge to 1 a will converge to 1 so it means that a will be pretty close to 1 but it cannot be equal to 1 so it means that a is almost equal to 1 so we will use this this concept in the derivation of the profit function so now we are in a position to derive the uh, factor demand function for the uh, Cobb Douglas production function so how would we uh, derive the factor demand function we will use the first order condition to derive the factor demand function how look at it this is the first order condition look at this is the first order condition and we will solve it for x to the power for x so if we uh, divide both sides by p a so it will become x to the power a minus 1 w divided by p a or a p if we take the whole the power 1 over o a minus 1 on both sides this a minus 1 will be vanished with it and on the right hand side this is equal to w over a p whole power 1 over a minus 1 so x now depends upon w and p only a as a is constant so x that is the input bundle depends upon prices that is the price of output and the price of input and this is equal to w over a p whole power 1 over a minus 1 this is the factor demand function for the Cobb Douglas technology in which there is only one factor input all right <coughs> now we need a uh, supply function of the firm so supply function of the firm is equal to y is the function of x but you know x is equal to y since is y is equal to x to the power a so this is x and this is x power a we will replace the x by the factor demand function which is equal to w over a p which is from over here 
we will make this substitution so its whole power is a so this is entire thing is x and this is its power a so over all this power will be multiplied with power so w over a p to the power a over a minus 1 so this is supply function of the form so we got the factor demand function and the supply function of the form now we are in a position to uh, derive the profit function uh, for the Cobb Douglas production function as profit is a function of price is only price of output and price of input and this is equal to price time output which is total revenue minus price time input which is total cost but y will be replaced by the supply function and x will be replaced by the factor demand function so if we substitute the values of x and y we get p and supply function minus w into factor demand function so if we decompose this power into a into 1 over a minus 1 so the same thing appears in this component w over a p to the power 1 over a minus 1 and w over a p to the power 1 over a minus 1 so this thing is common between this component and this component so we take it common so taking common w over a p to the power 1 over a minus 1 here we will be left with p and w to the power a p to the power a because we have taken this thing common and on the right hand side we will be left with w only because w over a p to the power 1 over a minus 1 has already been taken common as it is ok uh, now we can simplify this this is equal to p or p to the power 1 taking a power on each and everything inside the bracket so w to the power a a to the power a and p to the power a and minus w as as it is now we can as we can see that it's p rp to the power 1 we can shape it in the denominator because it is there is uh, already p to the power a in the denominator so it will be minus 1 so w to the power a as it is a to the power a as it is and p to the power a minus 1 minus w uh, w to the power a over p as it is if we take w common from this this thing which is inside the bracket so it will be the power of w will be reduced by 1 so it will be a minus 1 divided by a over a p to the power a minus 1 or here we will be left with minus 1 only so if we uh, rewrite the common thing w into w over a p to the power 1 over a minus 1 and simplify this thing because you can see w to the power a minus 1 and in the denominator there is p to the power a minus 1 so we can write this thing as w over p to whole power a minus 1 so we have wrote written this thing as as you can see it and we are left with 1 over a to the power a minus 1 now as we know that a is a converts to 1 it doesn't mean that a is exactly equal to 1 as a converts to 1 this implies that w is converts to p from the first order condition you can see it over there and if you divide both sides by p it means that w by p converts to 1 so this thing will become 1 and this thing will become 1 and this is 1 minus 1 so it will become 0 and anything raised to power 0 is always equal to 1 so this whole term will become equal to 1 which we don't report here and a to the power when a converts to 1 to a to the power a also converts to a right which is also almost equal to 1 but it is up to whether you put it equal to 1 or you replace it by a it's same thing right so that's why uh, 1 over a will become 1 over 1 over a to the power a will become 1 over a minus 1 as it is right and if you take the LCM of this you get 1 minus a over a so this is this is the proper function uh, and the condition for this is a must converge to 1 what is important to note that if a is equal to 1 you cannot maximize profit because a is much a is you are uh, increasing your inputs your output also increasing at the same rate because it will the technology will exhibit constant turn to scale and for constant turn to scale you cannot uh, you cannot 
determine the maximum profit. This phenomena is already discussed in the previous lecture video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.